Hey guys, uh, my name is Ryan, we are from the Free Skate, and this is a video response video, our first ever video response uh, video to a hot topic that's going on right now after the 2018 European Figure Skating Championships in Moscow. This video response is to a video on YouTube called Evgenia Medvedeva 2018 Free Skate European Championships Queen! Double exclamation mark, figure skating. Um, so, a lot of people, um, on this video thread, um, kind of have it out for, for Medvedeva, uh, because I guess, uh, she did make a few technical errors, um, and, uh, there's uproar from some Zagatova skating fans, um, and other skating fans that want oh, to be downgraded am more I pissed? than what she is. So, um, we looked at the video, uh, multiple times, um, watched her performance again, um, just so we uh, could clarify what people were talking about. Um, so the video does, uh, posted, um, is talking about, um, well, uh, quite a few jumps in her program that weren't downgraded or, uh, having a negative grade of execution. Um, and I'm going to argue a lot of that. Um, what I will give you is... Um, Talk about her LUTs first. So, her LUTs. Her LUTs. Um, so, the judges... I have the scores right here. So, the judges um, gave Medvedeva an unclear edge um, on her second jump, which was the triple LUTs. And she only got a 0.6 grade a, of execution for that. Uh, some judges gave her zero, many gave her one. There was one happy judge who decided to give her two. Uh, Woo! Okay, so... Just to piss everyone off. I love it. I watched the video. I watched her replays for that. Um, to me, it was pretty clear. <laughs> she should have been... Uh, uh, had a wrong edge on that jump for sure. Uh, it was pretty flutzy. It wasn't uh, a lutz. Um, the first jump in that video, they showed her flip. Um... I don't really know. I don't see really what was wrong with it. Um, it was getting maybe to the point of it could have been an unclear edge, but I don't even think it reached that point to begin with. So um, I don't think that one. Talk needs about to be downgraded. the quarter thing that you want to. Um, the know other thing. People. The other thing I wanted to let you know. Okay, so her combination uh, triple sal cow triple toe later in the program uh, in the second half of her program um, was base valued at. 9.57 points, so that's quite a bit. She got a 1.20 grade of execution, receiving one twos and threes, depending on what judge uh, uh, seen it. Um, the first triple sal cow, um, I don't think was under rotated. I think maybe she finished, I would say, an eighth of the rotation on the ice. Um, and a lot of figure skating fans um, should know, especially the ones who really pay attention to it. Um, you if, people, <laughs> you guys. No, the haters out there yeah. on her ass. I have so much to say on my If go. you have done most of the rotation on the ice and you're within a quarter rotation that finishes on the ice, mm -hmm. it's up to the judge's discretion to downgrade it or not. Um, a lot of judges will let that go. Um, I don't think it should have been downgraded. I think it was very close to being rotated in the air, so I don't really think it should have been a downgrade. I think it was about an eighth of a rotation out. Her second jump, however, the uh, second triple toe, um, I do think should have been downgraded. It should have been downgraded to a double because I think she finished between a quarter and a half on, well, not not quite a half, at least, at least a quarter on the ice for sure. Um, so that one should have been downgraded to a double, which she... Uh, wasn't uh the rest of the video that i uh saw i didn't really see what people were talking about and, and nagging about because the video is good. all about nitpicking every single thing up close first of all blah, blah. if we could only do that to every other skater out there that's in the tops they would be so much fun to just go see how great they do every single little jump and every little movement they do but you they nitpick only on her because you want to know why because she's won everything for two years blah blah, blah. is it medvedeva's fault that she doesn't fall hardly ever in competition? Is it Medvedeva's fault she can skate like a queen? You want to quote her queen and you want to fucking do that? No, let's bring it. Unfortunately, nobody skates with the consistency that Medvedeva has. Sorry, it doesn't matter what you say. That's just fact and truth. She doesn't fall like the rest do. She, you can't make her lose because she's not falling. 
So stop getting upset why she wins for all these years in a row to all the haters out there. For no reason. You don't need... Like, she lost this time and it was fair and square. Technically, like, we were waiting for somebody to come up there and say, hey, I could take on Medvedeva. And you know what Zingatova has? And I'm, you know, I'm Medvedeva's real big fan. And the thing is, I'm okay with that because I think that's great for the sport. It's great for Medvedeva as a rival. They have the same coach. They skate in the same practice together, blah, 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 blah. Listen, I give her full co uh, full compliment to that because she, technically, Zangatova, is great. And that's where it's going to be a very PCS versus technical. It, decide who's number one there. And you guys now, also have to listen. Like, you guys got to look at the score sheets. It's not like they exactly. gave Medvedeva the technical edge. She was schooled on technique by over five points by Zagatova. So oh, it like, should be way less because the haters out there can't handle her. It could have anything. been okay. It could have been a little less. It could have been maybe two and a half. I agree. Points less. And I was just okay. going to say this. Listen, and I agree. I did read somebody say out there. It's almost like the Europeans are the Russian nationals. And that's fine. And I could probably totally honestly agree with that. You know why? Because really, it's freaking, there's no one else out there in the women's. And on top of that, but how about the national judging on every other every other uh, country? Well, they all get upgraded, all these crazy marks. Brady Tunnel didn't deserve half her marks, but she got about a billion, so don't worry about her. Yeah. Um, the Canadians, they all got judged really high. I mean, that's how it is. Now, when we get to the international judging, don't worry. Everyone will be scored more appropriate. But don't complain and sit there and try and tell me or make anyone else believe that Medvedeva winning is some freaking fluke for two years when nobody has the consistency of her jumping and skating. There's no one. Osman is the only one right now that skates with that same power, that same finesse, that same, like, the character in them. They play their character to T. That's another one. Zangatova's character, okay, so half of her program, now we want to get on that, half of her program, you're sitting there worrying about the technical side of Medvedeva, well, um, Zangatova's sitting there half back loaded of just jumping, so what, so she reserves energy by doing her little skating, which artistry is not even close, and that's just facts, she's not even on the same radar as Medvedeva or an Osman, or even a Costner this year, in the skating technique, yet she's getting 75, Really? Yeah, right. She don't portray nothing like them. The, that program, both of them, are not even up close to personal to those three that her, I just not, mentioned. I don't think it's her technique. Her technique is, is fine. She does have a lot of good skating. Her skills, artistry, though. Her lines are terrible. The ballet, She needs ballet school, even though she's a ballet character. They it. seem very rushed. Um, a lot of her skating aspects I, I find very juniorish still. Um, now... A very sophisticated junior, but, but she's still getting junior. marks for it, and so, which is right. fine. I ain't sitting here bitching and moaning and writing on keyboard and oh my god, Medvedeva's like ah oh, queen. She is queen, and that's why the past, the present figure skaters out there like her, are in awe of her, and we've spoken to some. You see them, a lot of them follow her. There's a reason why, not because the YouTube haters out there that think they know everything about figure skating is because she does one let's wrong or blah blah blah. You know what? Go and pick, like I said, until somebody goes and makes a video about everyone else, you can't say shit about Medvedeva. Mm -hmm. Because you know what? That's such a one-sided video and a one-sided, um, you know, what do you want to call that? Pick apart a person for no reason or a figure skater and all the crazy comments out there. I'm sitting there thinking, okay, like, let's go look at Zingatova's perfectly great artistry work. Because I know one thing, and we've been told, she ain't that good in it. Yet she's getting the marks. I don't know. The reason why Medvedeva is a winner is because she doesn't fall. She hardly ever falls. You know, she's consistent. She plays her character to a T better than anyone. She yeah. is great artistry on the ice. So to me, what I just want to finish saying before you go is that's why she has won. And now finally we have Zingatova. She's up there and she's ready to compete against Medvedeva. And I have no problem with that and neither should anyone else. And they are deserving of the one and two right now. And if you can't handle it, then tough shit is what I got to say. Well, I don't think anybody's saying they can't handle them being one Yeah, two. they can't. They don't think, think she's in there. They don't think... So I read comments about how... Oh, I fine, read she should have been comments. in the first three. What the f... Are you crazy? Like, holy hell. Like, the comments I see, I'm like, 
I just hate the social media nowadays because it gives everyone a platform just to bullshit their way through everything. Listen, Medvedeva pulls you into her program. Medvedeva exactly. gives you that expression. And that's, Medvedeva. he's not even the number and one fan of her at all. I am, not him. I'm... I he like just her, likes but her, I mean, but you're not, that's not your number one. There's, there's other skaters I like maybe more because of my own personal preferences, but, right. but I understand why the judges give her such a high mark. So she pulls you in, no one else pulls you in like she does. Uh, she maintains her speed, she has ridiculous one foot skating skills that almost nobody else has. I know, that, but yeah, that's she not. She can no go one... from one end of the ice to the other in a footwork sequence yep. on, on one ice. And I, she fills the ice. Zagatola doesn't do that. She puts her foot down to do crossovers much, much more than Medvedeva does. Pay now, Zagatova does that. do her jumps across the ice, which is fine. She's doing that. But she doesn't have to do anything in between her jumps. Yeah. That's what anyone could do. Ah. So I find... Ah. I, like, no, don't give me that bullshit. I find Zagatova's overscored because of the whole backloading thing. It is. It's so exactly why. I find... So you're getting your technical marks and your your bonus points in the second half of this program. Okay. Now fine. let it be known, we do, do believe she's a great technician she on is. it. She's she a is. great jumper, probably the best. And right I'm now. not saying that so she we'll should have won this competition either, because yeah, she's I agree. Really, she, she should have won better. And I agree. Which is fine. Uh, but I still think that she's getting overscored in PCS. Where's where's your character in the whole second half of the the program when you're going from there jump to that. jump to jump to jump? You're losing that whole character. So why are you getting tens from international judges at the European Championships in in your pro program interpretation and performance? And, Wait, and but I thought Medvedeva only gets overscored. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Anyways, I just don't. I. I think she's still a few points ahead of herself in the PCS marks and I think But she deserves are... to be in the top and we're not knocking her down and no, I'm not I think she her should be that. in the top as well yep. but I don't think she should be within two points of Medvedeva for PCS, for PCS. or I, an I Osman or a Costner Costner, Osman and Medvedeva are all higher than her in PCS scores or sh or should be I mean look at it this way at the Canadian Nationals listen we're big Gabby Delman fans Gabby Delman got a 75. She is yeah. not getting 75 in PCS ever in international judging. Again, see how it works? It's just national judging. Now, you can't tell me that Gabby's on the same for PCS as a Medvedeva, Osman, Kostner, and Med uh, Zangatova. Come on. Um, no. I would say she's no. right in there with a Zagatova. I was ask actually going to say I think she's closer to Zagatova than she should be to Medvedeva and the and, top and three there. and Costner. She has improved a lot this year, though. Yeah, and that's fine. She's growing into it, and that's all right. But don't I'm so mad at everyone acting as if they pull out these video of only Medvedeva, but they don't want to do it to anyone else because we all know. You you all, you only see everyone fall during their well and listen long too, Medvedev is a, what a two time world champion now she's won X amount of competitions in a row up she's until, undefeated for two years right, until, up until now she, yeah. so you know what you've created that reputation with the judges for skating clean for not falling for having everything done properly and there are certain times you know what the judges are going to be giving her the benefit of the doubt because she has earned that reputation and that's just part of figure skating every single discipline has skaters like those whether and you like every it or single not. figure skater has had that for their advantage for sure and let's not cut the shit that's the truth i mean i think you could make a video of everyone in the top 10 in figure skating and argue the exact same thing in certain programs and certain events for that too so i think it's unfair for people to go after medvedeva for these small things especially when it wasn't an outrageous result medvedeva no won kidding. silver and that's where she should have been <laughs> yeah zagatova won gold that's where she should have been and you know what the point differential wasn't like uh oh zagatova won by, by half two. a point she won by like almost six she won by a lot you guys it wasn't like she was right there so i mean all i'm I don't saying the is judge is. fairly oh, don't yeah. go after one and one video make of one figure skater when you should be doing that to everyone then let's go see it let's go freaking knock it down peg by peg because I guarantee you, you're going to see just as many faults as other yeah. people too. I'm saying not one. I'm saying in a consistent thing. Don't tell me Medvedev is the only one that just does these small little errors by getting the marks for it. Yeah. Oh, and I've read it. Yeah. Oh, if this was a Canadian, American, Japanese, blah, 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 blah. Would they be getting these scores? No. Want to know why? Because they're not consistent at jumping. They're not consistent overall like Medvedev. That's why. Deal with it. Boom. I don't care. No, okay, I'm anyways, so pissed off about can that. Can I bring up one more thing before we close the, the video? This is not Medvedeva related, but it's the Europeans related. Um, 
the pairs, um, Vanessa James and Morgan C. Press and Zabielko and Enbert uh, from Russia, um, I also saw a lot of people furious that uh, the French were fourth and not third. Um, I'm a big fan of the French as well. I think they're super exciting. I've learned to love them since they won that bronze at the Europeans uh, the other year. Uh, but I'm going to side with the judges actually on this, this one too. Um, I think they deserved what they got. I and mean, they, they did not have a clean, long program. They had too many small errors that added up. They had an under-rotated first jump. Uh, they had negative grades of execution on uh, multiple other jumps. Hands down, uh, there were mistakes on the side-by-side -side spins where they got out of sync a few times. Uh, there was a lift that was dismounted from him that looked very sloppy. Um, all these things added up into them losing by 0 0.01 of a point. Very, very, very close. The Russians swept the podium 1-2-3, but I don't think uh, that should be ragged upon because I honestly, you know what? I watched Zabielko and Enbert. Were they clean? No, but they were cleaner than the French team. And they were more uh, refined a little bit in that performance than them. And that's where it came down to. The French had too many negative GOEs and the Russians didn't. And that's why the French got fourth. So to everyone also that is ragging on that, saying the French should have won. So I've heard silver, never mind bronze. Um, I, I don't think so. I think the French know that they messed up on a few things. And if you actually look back at their performance, um, which is still, they, they still skate to, to pull you in. And I loved watching them. But there were too many elements that were just poorly done that added up in the, the end. There wasn't like a major, oh my god, they're going to lose because they lost like six points on this this element. But it was one here, one and a half here, 0.5 here, 0.2 here. And it all added up into them losing by 0 0.01. So, Anyways, listen, I feel so much better. I'm sorry. But wow, this wow, was, that was a 17 right minute now. rant. And I feel so much better getting this out because I'm so sick and tired of these people on her ass all the time because she's a winner. And But here, and here's my final thing that I say always of a great athlete, a great singer, a great anything. Once you become great, everyone wants to hate on you. Once you become great, everyone wants to nitpick yeah. and tear you down, blah, blah, blah. That's the, that's the thing with any athlete, any, any singer... Once you get to a high thing, like, that's just what it is. But I am here to defend it because at the end of the day, no one has their consistency. And it's such a joke that you can make one video on one figure skater. By the way, the freaking two-time world champion and two-year undefeated girl has done nothing wrong She's to anybody else. Um, and you're going to nitpick only on her. Like somehow every other skater is just picture perfect clean. Yeah, right. Bullshit. Anyways, thank you for listening to me because wow, I feel much better. Do you want to play curling, baby? <laughs> Bye. Woo! Love it.